My name is David Woods, and I'm the founder of Enjoy Detroit. All right, David, what got you out here today? Oh, man, we always giving back to the, you know, uh, getting behind people that has breast cancer. And we always giving back to like different events, spreading awareness. But today, particularly, uh, we out here walking for Gina, Gina Strong. She actually a breast cancer survivor, and she has a huge journey and testimony behind surviving breast cancer. So we walking for her today. Is this your first walk? No, we actually been doing it for the past like 15 years, you know, giving back to, you know, the breast cancer walk. So anything that we can do, if it's merchandise, if it's fundraising, we want to give back to people because a lot of people is less fortunate in this position because they can't, they don't have money to actually, you know, finance medication, their insurance cut off. And a lot of times when people uh, catch any illnesses or diseases, they, they got to call off work. So, so anything we can do just to get behind women because women, they go through a lot. So we here for Gina Strong. Okay, that's cool. Is that Gina right that's there? Gina, right Gina, there. Gina, come on, come <laughs> on, we need you. <laughs> All right. So I'm standing here next to Gina. Gina Strong, right? Yeah. Okay. Share with us what you're doing out here. So I'm out here as a cancer survivor. I was diagnosed with breast cancer back in March, and in July I had to have a full mastectomy. So I'm out here representing myself and all of the cancer survivors. I am Janina Lee and I am a cancer survivor. Okay, being a survivor, can I ask you this question? Yes. How did learning about cancer and you getting cancer, how did that affect you mentally? Ah, great question. So mentally, it was definitely challenging trying to process learning that you have cancer. Because as soon as you hear the word cancer, you automatically feel like it's a death sentence. Um, and all kind of emotions, physically, mentally, are you going to make it? Are you going to die? But I had put in my mind that I had to fight with everything in me for my family, right. that I was going to make it. And I had to fight, and here I am, a survivor. <laughs> <laughs> so if you had to give some encouraging words to someone who just found out that they have breast cancer or going through breast, breast cancer, what would it be? What would you say to them? I would definitely say get a support team. Your support team is everything. That's what's going to help keep you going. I thought I could handle this by myself and I was definitely wrong. So I would definitely say get a good support team, get a good support system. Um, I called my pastor for prayers and that's what helped guide me and get me through. If it wasn't for my family, I don't think I would be here. So I would say, and do plenty of research. Unfortunately, like for my um, struggle, trying to find the right doctor, trying to find the right hospital. So do a lot of research on your own and be healthy. That's important too. Eating well, staying fit is definitely important. All right, thanks. Now, who are you? It's my right here. wife. This is your wife? Yeah. Okay, as, your, as you being a husband, this is your wife how did it affect you mentally uh, mentally I mean you know like she said it's like you're thinking about you know if she gonna make it day by day you know if she gonna be around you know it's you know close for our daughter graduation from high school you know you just all type of things go through your mind you know especially when there's somebody that's close to you somebody that you need to be by your side that are they going to make it? And then a lot of times, you know, when you think about the word cancer, you know, a lot of things can happen. You know, it has ups and downs and certain things they tell you, hey, you're going to make it. And then next thing you know, you don't make it. So, you know, a lot of things plays on your mind emotionally, especially, you know, when you think about cancer. Okay, cool. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right. Have a good one. Yep.